Ina is a modern media player replacement for QuickTime player or VLC player on your Mac. It has simple UI which is easy to navigate and it supports standalone audio file mode which you can enable by playing mp3 files for example. In the settings for the Ina you will find many options but the ones that stand out to me are that if you navigate to the UI part of the settings you can change the appearance of the player to the light or to the dark. Then if you scroll down you will find all on-screen controller options and you can basically change the position of play and pause buttons from top to bottom. And then there is also floating option which is already enabled by default. But the feature I like the most is that you can watch my YouTube videos or any YouTube videos really using this player. The only drawback is that you will need to install Chrome or Firefox extension. And this is the only first free app out of 10 on the list. Hi, I'm Tech Enthusiast and I make technology oriented videos. Today I will show you top 10 free Mac apps that you aren't using. Oh, and I almost forgot, if you like the wallpaper that you see on my desktop, make sure that you check the link down below in the video description. And now the app which can easily replace Microsoft Office and it's also a kind sponsor of this video, VPS Office. But let me ask you something, why would you choose VPS Office instead of Microsoft Office in the first place? So here are my four takes. Number one is affordability. It's free, perfect for individuals and small businesses. Number two is compatibility. Seamlessly edits Microsoft Office files. Number three is versatility. Works on Windows, Mac OS, Linux, iOS and Android. And number four is core functionality, efficiently handles essential office tasks without the high cost of actual Microsoft Office. And now VPS Office comes with an AI integration, so let me show you how to use it to summarize a PDF. On the home screen of the VPS Office app, select new in the menu on the left, then in the above row, select PDF. Now the menu should appear and here select open PDF. Now I'm going to select the PDF manual for the Sony camera, which I want to summarize. Then click on VPS AI and here you should see a summary of your PDF. It is that easy. So if you want, you can also click on the inquiry at the top and ask VPS AI about the PDF. With that said, if you want to try VPS Office, make sure that you check out the first link in the video description. Did you know that if you delete application on a Mac, it still leaves behind some unwanted folders and files? This is where App Cleaner app comes in very handy. So to delete app using App Cleaner, you will first need to open the App Cleaner and then you will see a message drop your apps here. Now open the finder and navigate to the applications menu. Left click on the app you want to delete and drag it to the App Cleaner application. After you have done that, you will see which app is going to be uninstalled and how many megabytes will be removed. Then make sure that you select every single folder or file in case some aren't selected and press remove. Now every file of the unwanted app should be moved to the bin. You can now right click on the bin and select empty bin and this is from now on how you should remove unwanted applications on your Mac. And speaking of cleaning but this time not your apps but your keyboard. Did it ever happen to you when you wanted to clean your keyboard that you press random buttons on your keyboard and everything goes crazy? If so, this is where keyboard clean tool comes to the rescue. And by the way, I will leave the links for all mentioned apps in the video description right below the like button. Once you have keyboard clean tool opened, you will need to press on click to start cleaning mode. This will then lock your keyboard and then you can clean your keyboard without any worries of opening or typing something on your Mac. Once you're finished with cleaning, then you can click on stop cleaning mode. Now your clean keyboard can thank me in the comment section by typing this emoji. Next app is an amazing tool which helps you to open archive formats in seconds. Its name is Unarchiver and it supports archives like 7-zip, RAR, ZIP, ISO disk images and many more. The app is completely free and you can install it from the App Store. Now let me show you a real world scenario. Let's say that you downloaded RAR file but you can't really open it with a Mac. So this is where Unarchiver comes in very handy. Because once you have it installed, you can right click on the RAR file, then you will need to click on get information, scroll down until you see open with and from the drop down menu select the unarchiver app 
and down below press on change all button. Then click on the continue button and this is it. Now you can open RAR files on your Mac using the Unarchiver app. Next app is a browser which I use all the time on my Mac and it is called Arc Browser from the browser company. Right off the bat, this browser is Chromium based, so you can get all the benefits of installing Chromium extensions. And now with the macOS Sonoma update, it got even better because you can fill in your saved password just like in Safari by using official Apple Chromium extension called iCloud Passwords. Now, this browser is very unique because of the tab menu which you can see on your left. And with this browser, you can create spaces and the spaces will act like a separate tab page on your left. This browser gets regular updates, I believe that every Thursday there is a new release and with every new update this browser gets better and better. If you want a more detailed look at the Arc browser, I already made a separate video about it. So if you want, take a look in the video description for the link to the video. Now, if you're not a fan of Chromium browsers, there is another browser which supports Chromium and Firefox extensions and it is called Orion Browser. It is based on Apple's WebKit, just like Safari Browser, but the catch is that Safari Browser does not support Chromium extensions nor Firefox ones, and the Orion Browser does. The Orion Browser is free to use, but there is also Orion Plus version, which lets you to support the developer, and if you do so, you will get a few of the perks, mainly access to the Orion release candidate versions, pre-release beta versions, and many more. Next app will help you focus on your computer. It is called Flow and it's a very minimal Pomodoro timer on your computer. It has many duration options, session and break notifications, and you can also see your own statistics. Installation is quite straightforward because you can just grab the app from the App Store. On the first screen of the app, you will see a simple timer, but if you select three dots at the top right, then you can change the session duration. And another cool feature with this app is that you can block apps while using this app to help you focus on only one thing. Then after you press X on the top right, this Pomodoro timer will live in your menu bar and you can easily see the countdown. Next up is an app which helps you download torrent files and it is called Qubit Torrent. Qubit Torrent is a very simple, fast and stable torrent downloader. The installation is quite easy because you can just go to qubittorrent.org and click on the download tab. Select the macOS DMG and then you will be redirected to the fosshub.com. Here select Qubit Torrent macOS and now you should have Qubit Torrent DMG file. Now you just need to install the app and you should be good to go with a new simple torrent downloader called Qubit Torrent. Next app is an open source Mac statistics app called Stats and it shows your max data like SSD speed, CPU speed, RAM usage and many other statistics in your menu bar. You can grab the app from the GitHub page, link will be in the video description down below. On the first page of the app, you will see basic information about your Mac. And then down below, you can pick which data of your Mac you want to see on your menu bar. If you want to change the position of the icons on your menu bar, then you can just hold down the command key and then drag the icon to your desired position. And then you will need to release the command key. And this is it. Those have been top 10 free Mac apps that you aren't using. As I said in the video already, all the links for the mentioned apps will be linked in the video description down below. And if you enjoyed this type of content, subscribe to the channel would really mean a lot to me. And you can also press the like button. With that said, make sure that you look for the wallpaper link in the description of this video. Have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you in the next one. Peace.